The basic principle of the nuclear bomb is based around the fact that uranium and the elements near it are maladjusted, which means that they have an unstable number of protons and neutrons. So, to try and become stable, they get rid of the excess weight. This is known as radioactivity. The uranium atom loses this weight by releasing beta particles, which are high-speed electrons, alpha particles, which consist of two protons and two neutrons and have a positive charge, this is also the same as the nucleus of a helium atom, and they also release gamma rays. The explosion produced by a nuclear bomb is released due to a process known as fission. Fission is the splitting of a nucleus into two parts, and inside a nuclear bomb is applied because a uranium-235 atom is hit with a neutron and splits the uranium atom into two lighter elements. When one uranium atom is split into two, it releases a considerable amount of energy. When the uranium-235 atom is hit by a neutron, it produces two lighter elements as well as two or three new neutrons. This creates a chain reaction, because each uranium atom that is hit by a neutron in turn sets off two or three more uranium atoms. This ends in a huge release of energy in the form of an explosion. Nuclear bombs are made in the shape of a cylinder with mirrors covering the inside to reduce neutron loss and increase the effectiveness of the bomb. A nuclear bomb will detonate when the chain reaction inside the bomb reaches supercritical mass. So, the chain reaction is started in two separate halves of the bomb, which don't explode because they're each at subcritical mass. Then, when the bomb is ready to be detonated, the two sides of the bomb are brought together and are left together until they reach supercritical mass, at which point the bomb will explode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like rating down below. It really helps. And if you want to see more videos just like this one in the future, every single Friday, then subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all next week.